Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I have another dupe video coming your way. So I have four palettes here from, of course, Shop Hush. You guys know the deal. I love Shop Hush. These are by Bad Habit Beauty. They make most of the dupes um, that you see like on my channel that I'm reviewing. And these little guys are actually supposed to be dupes for the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. So she came out with those a few months ago. They're like those little mini palettes. So these are dupes for those. And I'm going to be testing them out today. So, so excited. Make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I do tons of dupes. Usually whenever Shop Hush comes out with a dupe palette, I review it like right away. I'm on top of it. If you guys want to find out how I got four different looks using these new palettes from Bad Habit Beauty and if they're really a good dupe or not, then just keep on watching. And I actually do not own any of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you guys like a comparison between the two. So I'm just going to be reviewing these today in regards to like the way they swatch and size and price and weight and stuff. You guys are so tiny and cute. Look at this. It's like the perfect little travel companion. I would totally take these along with me on a trip, throw them in my makeup bag. They are just absolutely perfect. And there is After Dark is one we have right here, After Dark. And then we have After Party, which is like the smokier palette. Then we have After Hours, which looks like this. Bold, colorful one. This is called Aftershock. And yes, I am wearing two different eye looks on my eyes. If you're like, what the heck, Kim? You look insane. It's because I tested out both palettes or all four palettes on my eyes. So I did one here and one here. Figured that would be the best way to do it. And I kind of just left it on my eyes because I didn't feel like taking off my makeup again. So here we are. You can buy these in two different ways. So you can get them as a bundle with all four and that is $30. So that comes out to about, I think $7 and 40 cents per palette, which is a really good deal. So if you guys want to snatch up the bundle, make sure you go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave my code for Shop Hush here on the screen. It's just my name, Kim. If you guys ever want to use it, it is an affiliate code, but you save about 10%. Um, so if you guys want to use that I will always have it down below in my description box or you can go ahead and buy them separately so you can buy one if you only want like after party and individually they are ten dollars so you do save more if you get the bundle so I recommend that but you can buy it individually if you're like oh I just want the colorful one or whatever the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette those retail for $27 so already you have a really huge cost savings with $10 or $7.40 if you buy the bundle versus $27, you're basically getting all four of these in the bundle for the price of one Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. And let me just tell you guys, I was so excited when I saw these were being released by Bed Habit and Shop Hush because when I saw those Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes come out, I wanted one so bad and it was when I was on my no buy I was like oh maybe I'll get it in the Sephora sale but I held back I didn't get it and I am so happy that I held back and did not get them because these came around and that is why I love dupes because you can save so much money I can travel with them I could take these on the go touch-ups whatever love 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 the little size of these guys you guys want to see how these perform in swatches and just keep on watching I need an angel
swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Now I'm going to get on into the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys looks for each palette on my eyes. So I was looking at all the palettes and I'm like, how am I going to do a review on four different palettes and I only have two eyelids? So I said, you know what, since there's four palettes and I have two eyelids, I'm going to do two palettes on one eye each. So palette, a palette, then I'll wipe it off and I'll do the next two palettes. Start out first with the After Hours palette. And this is what the inside looks like. It is pretty much identical to the Huda Beauty Mini Obsessions palette. So this palette is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Mauve Mini Obsessions palette. And I'll put a picture of the Huda one probably like here on the screen so you guys can see the comparison between the two. It's the same thing except the colors are just rearranged. Ready to prime my eyes, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm gonna go in first with Powder Room because it's the matte brow bone shade in the palette. And I'm gonna use that to set my left eye. I applied really nicely. Now I'm gonna do a transition with Lustful, which is this like medium tone brown shade. I'm gonna just put that in my crease. Actually, I feel like this brush is not fluffy enough, so I'm gonna go in with a different one. Switch my brush because I wanted a little bit more of a fluffier look for the transition. So this shade, Lustful, is also going on super nicely. I'm not finding it to be patchy or skippy or anything, like when you get those little skippy lines. This one blended out pretty nicely. I think then next I want to go into Cabernet and use um, a bit of a tighter crease brush and just kind of put that right in the crease. This actually would be an awesome Valentine's Day eyeshadow palette. So that's quite pigmented. I use as many shades as I can. So I'm gonna take Clutch right here and put that on the first like third of my eye. This is more of like a chunkier kind of shimmer shade, but it's going on the eye super nicely. Very standard for Shop Hush and Bad Habits palette eyeshadow quality. I'm going to take eye contact and I'm going to just flip my brush right next to Clutch. Not laying down as nice on the eye and I feel like the color isn't picking up like onto my eye. It's not almost not like attaching. So then I'm going to try and take Gossip next. And see how this one is. Now I'm a little nervous for these shimmers. I'm gonna put that right here. This one too is a little bit flaky, not really going on the eye very nicely. I used a brush before and I had brown on it and it got on my eye, so I kind of messed up the look. But even just applying this to the eye, I just don't like it. I actually feel like this eye looks terrible now. And I'm trying to think what I can do to fix it because those two colors do not apply nicely. So I think I'm going to go back to Clutch because that one I think applied best out of all these shimmers. Put that all over the lid. So, so far this is the only shimmer in here that I like. Gossip and eye contact were flaky and did not apply nicely to the eye. Then I'm gonna go into Hickey and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. All right, this one's pretty nice. A little more of Cabernet. Put a little bit more in the crease. Darn it, I keep using that brush that has brown on it some powder room Whoop. and I'm gonna go around the edge. I did definitely get some fallout going on over here. Um, I don't really mind that too much as long as I put my eyeshadow on first but it kind of just shows me that it's more of a softer eyeshadow. So go ahead and line This is the final look with the After Hours palette. Um, 
I think you guys definitely saw there was a bit of a struggle here with this palette. I like the way the overall eye came out and I love the colors in here. However, I do think the quality of the shimmers is lacking. I do wanna try these with a glitter glue and see if that makes a difference. And I'm definitely gonna test it out so I don't wanna write this off just now and say, don't get it because I think the mattes in here are probably the winners inside this palette. Next up we have After Party. Here's After Party and it is messy because I swatched everything before I filmed the eye portion of the video because I like to see how things swatch first. And this one is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palette in Smokey. With this eyeshadow palette, there is no matte brow bone shade in here. So I'm just gonna go back into After Hours and use that to set my primer. So the first shade I wanna take is Morning After. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in there and I'm gonna use this as our transition shade so everything blends out. And this is like an orangey kind of yellow orangey shade. So this shade is pretty decent so far. I do wanna dive into Strobe Light, which is this silver shade right here. I'm very curious how this is gonna be. Um, this is another one of those more like chunkier glitter shades. I'm just gonna press this into the lid. It is so crumbly. Look at that. Wow. It's not really sticking that well without any sort of primer. So let me try a glitter glue with this one. Let the glitter glue dry for a little bit. Let's try this again. See if this is better. Oh my gosh, yes. So much better. Okay, the shimmers. I'm telling you guys, they need a glitter glue because before, no. But now it is sticking so much better. I do like a typical smoky eye. I'm gonna go into the black here, which, oh my gosh, when I swatched it, it was insane. Hmm. I'm just gonna try and build it up. Kind of like messing a little bit with the glitter glue that I just applied. I'm gonna go into Musk, that shade right there. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Kind of like blend everything. Whoa, I think I just put too much, but we'll fix the black. Just gonna go back into that matte shade powder room and I'm gonna use that to blend. Okay, so here is the final look. I didn't put any mascara on my bottom eyelashes because I figure whatever, I'm just gonna be taking off this anyways. We have after hours, and then this eye we have after party. So these are the two looks I came up with. Come a little closer so you guys can see. Those are the first two eyeshadow palettes, and now we're gonna move on to the next two. Okay, so I prime my eyes again, and the third palette I have here is the After Dark palette. So there's what it looks like, and then that is the inside. Very like warm tone palette. So if you love warm tones, this is gonna be your best friend. The Huda Beauty version of this is called Warm Brown. So. I'm gonna go ahead first and pick up the matte brow bone shade and that is Swipe Right. Use that to set my eyes. I'm just gonna lay down a transition shade first so I'm gonna take Skin to Skin and put that right in the crease. Really nice transition shade. It's actually a bit darker, applied darker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit more light but that works out just as well. Go into Rosy Glow and put that in my crease. Bright orangey kind of coral. Looks really pretty. Ooh, yes, I love this shade. Then I'm gonna take Crush On Me, which is like an even brighter orange. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I'm gonna take 24 Carat. It's really the only shimmer shade in the whole palette. It's kind of like a dirtier gold. And I'm gonna pop this on the eyelid. Hopefully it sticks. I 
I think this definitely applied better than the silver though, like without glitter glue. I'm gonna pick up Merlot and put that like on the outer third. Kind of leading into the gold. I'm gonna take the shade Arousal and I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. smoke it out a little so that is after dark I definitely like the way this one applied I thought these colors were super smooth and they applied really nicely they blended out really nicely I didn't really have any trouble the only one that was a little bit skippy I would say was Merlot shimmer shade I think did a pretty decent job for not having any glitter glue compared to the other shimmer shades um, so I really like this one. I think this is a great little palette as well. Last palette is the one I was most excited for. This is Aftershock. So this is the super duper colorful one. And let's open this bad boy. So Aftershock is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette in Electric. Look how fun these shades are. And I like that they did this whole theme around like an EDM dance music thing. So you have BPM, which is like uh, beats per minute, light show, chaser, electronica, drop, surge. So I thought that was really fun. A little bit of sensation in the crease. That's like the fuchsia kind of shade. And I'm gonna pop this right in the crease. So first pass through the crease, it's a little light. Now I'm doing another pass and it's definitely buildable but it's more of like a wash of color which hey that could be fine if you're new to playing around with color but it's definitely buildable like I just keep layering it and the color is building up and it's blending out really nicely maybe I will do drop because that teal is just like calling my name right now Ooh. all right Holy fallout, oh my gosh, that just got all over my eye, my cheek. You definitely have to like pack this on and don't sweep it. Again, I feel like this might be another one of those shades that you have to use a glitter glue to really intensify it and make it more bold like i think then i want to take tingle which is like that super duper bright pink corner oh yeah oh yes that is nice then i'm gonna take um light show which is like this purpley blue and i'm gonna put that underneath the eyes oh it's so pretty oh the shade is awesome and then just for fun i want to take surge and pop a little bit of that into the outer corner because why not we're playing with color Ooh, this one's nice too just putting it like right on this outer portion blend it into the blue Okay guys, so I am back. I finished up both eyes and I actually really like both of these palettes as well. Um, again, I do think the shimmers um, kind of do need a little bit of help if you're going to be putting them all over your lid. Like this one I just put on the bottom so it didn't need to have any sort of setting spray or anything. But that blue, I definitely find that I was struggling a little bit. I was blending it away and I kind of kept trying to fix it. But it needs some sort of glitter glue or setting spray to make it really pop. Totally would reach for this palette and, you know, use it for when I want to do a more bold look because I did feel like I was lacking some color in my collection. So that this is small, so it won't take up a lot of space because we all know colorful looks are more few and far between. Um, so to have something like this in my arsenal that I could just reach for and it's super tiny, it's not going to take up a lot of space. 
I really like that. Alright guys, so that is it for my review and tutorial on the brand new little after palettes from Bad Habit Beauty and Shop Hush. Overall, I think these are really nice dupes. Granted, I didn't compare them to the Huda Beauty palettes. I don't own those palettes. I do think the shimmers were a little bit of a letdown, but you still can make them work. And I think overall, these are really nice palettes and I recommend them for the price. You could save so much money and you're literally getting pretty much the same as the Huda Beauty palettes. And those are my thoughts on the new after palettes from Shop Hush. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you did. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I need